Today we are back with the landscaping series. We will be doing some lawn care. We'll be heading over to the shop in our 2017 Ford F-250. Today we will be mowing a residential lawn using the right stander with the bagger, the new leaf blower, and the new weed eater. We will also be using the OBS Ford along with a single axle utility trailer. I'm excited to be back here mowing lawns with the landscaping series. Over the next few weeks it will be very busy as we start the fall leaf cleanups. Today we will be using some new equipment including the leaf blower and also the weed eater. I've been getting quite a lot of comments to feature those in some lawn care videos. We'll be doing some edging going around with the weed eater and then uh, we'll mow and then finally we'll leaf blow the driveway. So far I've really been enjoying the 2017 Power Stroke. I really do like this quite a lot and can't wait to really see how this truck holds up in the long term since we'll be keeping this with the shop for quite a long time. Now it is just over 45 degrees out. It's been a bit chilly with the fall weather. Uh, we do get some nice warm days but uh, we do get those mixture of uh, colder days as well. So let's come over here to the 7.3 liter power stroke and get it warmed up. This might be a little bit on the hard side to get started. And there it goes, fired right up after a few tries, luckily, and uh, we do have it plugged in overnight. So we'll get the uh, mower along with the new Skag Leaf Blower warmed up. Now this is pretty sweet look at this. This is pretty powerful. I would much prefer a backpack blower or a handheld blower, but I thought uh, we'll give this a try. It has a lot more horsepower and uh, we'll even do a better job. Now we do have the bagger just because the grass is tall, and I always like to kind of bag the grass if the customer allows. Now the landscaping series is very popular here on the channel which is pretty exciting. I overall really do enjoy this series going around town doing so many different jobs and projects and we do have some pretty big ones coming up using uh, multiple pieces of equipment at the same time. And we'll get backed up here to the single axle utility trailer and I think this is perfect for the mowers. It's just so easy to uh, use and uh, we don't really need to bring a big trailer with us only for one uh, mower and got the uh, everything ready to go there. Now I am currently looking for another Ford for the series. I'm looking for a kind of a 04 Power Stroke regular cab long bed. I really would like one of those here for the series. I think that will be one a sweet truck and I do like the older Fords as well. Right, we'll put the weed eater up there you guys and see this is pretty sweet we could turn it for the edging and I just can't wait to really uh, see what that uh, can do and we'll edge it we'll go around trim all the areas we can't get with the uh, right Now I hope everyone's having a great day today let me know how it is down below My day has been a bit busy so far but it's been pretty good I've really been enjoying the fall lately and the leaves are starting to fall which is awesome. I really do enjoy the uh, color change as well, that's just so, uh, so cool to see and I kind of just drive down country roads and experience the fall season. Now I am kind of looking into the lag problem here for the game. I have found out that when you save your game too many times, the lag does happen. So we might have to look into moving to a new shop, into a new map, which I'm definitely up for. But I would definitely like to finish off the season on this map. So let me know down below what your thoughts are over that. Now with the landscaping series, we have roughly 50 uh, mowing accounts. Uh, quite a lot of them are big commercials while we do have a uh, majority of them as well being uh, residential. So we do a great mixture and these are great uh, steady steady uh, money flow for the company while the big landscape projects are where we make the big profits to pay for all of the sweet trucks and equipment we use. 
and it's also nice to offer many services to our customers maybe if we mow the lawn for them they might want a patio we do a patio for them uh, we snow plow for them so having customers that ask us to do more than one service is also a great thing this is one sweet setup here really do like uh, these single axle utility trailers they look so nice and uh, they do a great job And now I am also looking into possibly getting maybe a second gen Dodge here for the landscaping series. I do like that mixture of new and older trucks and I think that is awesome. Or uh, we could pick up a GMC 2500. So kind of let me know, should we get a GMC or should we get a second gen next? And that will be adding to the fleet. And that's because we'll be doing some multiplayer videos and I definitely want to have extra trucks and things like that. And we have arrived, so we'll just kind of park out front, get the hazard lights on, we'll let the air right get warmed up as we go around and we need. I almost think that I did leave the right on, let's kind of see. And we did, so we'll just kind of leave it right there. We'll get the weed eater out and let's get going. So we'll first kind of edge alongside the driveway. Now it definitely would be pretty cool for this to work and we actually did have working weeders back in FS17 but it did drop quite a bit of grass and this, these are very tricky to use. So how I have this one set up I think just works out good for us. We'll go along here trim this edge and we'll just kind of trim around the trees in different areas like that. Now I am trying to put more effort into being as uh, realistic as possible so that's kind of why you guys see me using a weed eater. I actually don't think that tree was on the property line, but that's okay. Uh, uh, the neighbor gets a free trim. Trying to get under this tree as much as we can. That way we don't have to kind of go near it. Trying to get these corners as big as we can to make it easier for us. The better job we do trimming, the faster we could get mowed. And that is also good. And I think that's pretty much it there for the trees. We'll put this way and we'll get to mowing now. Now one thing I definitely would like to find a way to do is empty the grass into maybe the bed of the pickup truck or even just kind of put them in barrels, uh, trash barrels many companies do use. So I, I do want to find uh, things like that uh, to make it more realistic. And we'll get mowing. Now this 72 inch right is so efficient and it's awesome that we get to use a mower so good. Now rights are pretty popular and uh, stand on mowers now are uh, kind of the way to go. They are very affordable for landscape companies, lawn care companies and they do a great job. You could fit so many of these on a trailer as well. Uh, four or five on a regular size like a 16 foot trailer which is good news for the company. Now let me know down below in the comments guys, what would you prefer a stand on or uh, kind of a zero turn mower? Now they both offer different things I, that I like about uh, both of them, but I'm not sure, it really depends on the type of property I guess uh, for me to really decide. I definitely do like the walker mowers for the fall season though and we'll be putting those to work uh, a ton uh, coming up here in the next month, month and a half. Now we do have some pretty big uh, landscaping projects still to do this season. Hopefully we can get all of them done. Otherwise we'll have to kind of wait until next season and uh, then we'll kind of have to get going on booking jobs for the next year. So far school has been going pretty well for me and I hope everyone's been having a great school year. With school it's a busy, busy time for all of us but hope everyone finds something they enjoy every day and uh, kind of spend time doing that. You always do want good grades, do your homework, and then you could always uh, watch some great YouTube videos. Now 
Now the rights do uh, very nice striping as well, and that's one thing I really want to figure out in uh, Farming Simulator is how can we stripe uh, the grass. I have thought of a few ways, but they just don't look as good as what uh, I would really want them to. But hopefully we could find something out because that would be awesome to do. Now with a property this size, I would expect us to unload the bagger probably two or three times at the least. But let me know down below in the comments guys, should we continue to use the weed eater and the leaf blower? I think that they do add a lot of realism to these lawn care videos uh, since you uh, do always want to trim things like that. I, now I do want to get uh, the, both of them working fully functional. That would be pretty cool to see us blowing piles and piles of leaves uh, instead of just using the mower to kind of collect it. So hopefully we could kind of figure out some cool things like that as well. Now I decided today since we are getting that new equipment, we'll spend a little bit more time at one property instead of trying to do uh, two in today's uh, schedule. Now we do have quite a lot of games coming up here on the channel. American Truck Simulator will be back within the next week, week or two. I actually have had a few problems there with my game that I will have to get it worked out before I can record again. And Spin Tires will be back featuring some new trucks and equipment which should also be exciting. A few other new series I am looking into are a new farming series. I really want to get back into farming and also a live stream. Probably one or two streams a month at the very least would be pretty exciting to do. And I do have some multiplayer videos coming up. We'll probably do a lot more multiplayer landscaping and uh, different uh, ones. And also some unique videos coming up. One of a kind. Uh that will be pretty exciting as well. And that's it here for the right. Uh, we'll bring it over to the trailer, but before we get it loaded on, we gotta start the uh, skag blower to blow off uh, the sidewalks and the driveway. That F-350 here is one awesome truck. Now it is a 1997 model years old, but it does a job which really is what counts. And I also do like featuring them in these videos. Awesome, we got it going here. We'll just kind of go along here. And it's so powerful, it's just blowing all of it, which is great. And we'll just kind of come this way, blow a little bit there, and we'll try to get up on the sidewalk. I'm not sure if it will, uh, yeah, that's not going to work there just because of how uh, that sidewalk is. But we'll get this loaded up, and we'll head out. I definitely do also plan to do more first person here on the channel. really do like featuring the mixture, but I also have some unique ideas coming up too as well uh, around the different views uh, that we could use in the game.
We got loaded up here, we got the property done, and we'll head back over to the shop. I hope you guys enjoyed today's lawn care video here back on the Wind Chaser map. We got to use the F-350, the utility trailer, the right, along with those two new pieces of equipment as well. Hope you guys enjoyed, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next one.